What's going on guys? My name is Mitch Tavian and this is going to be the second one of my uh, Bluetooth tutorials for Android. Uh, so if you didn't watch my first one, uh, it was to how to enable and disable Bluetooth. So I'm going to be continuing on from there and I'm going to show you how to enable discoverability on your device. So how to make give other devices the ability to see your device. So I'm, I'm, I'm using this, I'm continuing on from the last one. So the code is, there's a bunch of code already here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is go into the layout and we're going to add another button. So here we have our second button. We're going to call, call it Enable Discover Discoverable. And uh, it's going to be named Button Enable Disable Discoverable. And we're going to have an on click right here. And uh, so we can create a method in our main activity. So the next thing we'll do is go over to main activity and we're going to create our second broadcast receiver. If you didn't see me, uh, if you didn't see my first tutorial, I just went to the developer website uh, so Bluetooth Android developer website where is it here can't remember where it was uh, let's just go Bluetooth broadcast receiver sure Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so here it is. So here's a template for a broadcast receiver. I've already created one, so I'm just going to throw it in here. So here's our second broadcast receiver. I just named it Broadcast Receiver 2. It's going to be getting an action just like the last one, but it's going to be detecting a different, a different mode. So your Bluetooth adapter is going to uh, detect an action scan mode changed, and uh, the the mode, which is represented by the, an integer is going to be, th th there's four different modes. It'll be scan mode detectable discoverable, which means discoverability is enabled. Scan mode connect connectable, which means discoverability is enabled and now you're able to receive connections and you can read the rest here. Next thing do we'll do is create our button. So there it is. And we'll declare our button in the onCreate method. There we go. And now we'll create our button on click method. So we'll go down to the bottom. Actually, I think we can just go into here and go click here, click create on click event handler. Yes. So Android will do some of that for you. And first thing we'll do is log um, making device discoverable. Or we'll do 300 seconds. So the first thing we need is our intent. So there's our intent. It's going to be action request discoverable on the Bluetooth adapter. Then we're going to uh, put an extra, and we use the extra to to define the discover discoverable duration. So in this case, we could choose 300 seconds, and this is going to be the amount of time that your device is going to be discoverable to other devices. And the last thing we need to do is start activity. Oh, I uh, almost forgot to add our intent filter here, so that our broadcast receiver will intercept the state changes. So we'll create an intent filter, and then we need to register our receiver with the intent filter. Okay, so now the intent filter will, the broadcast receiver 2 is going to be looking for action scan mode change. So if we scroll up, we see that uh, broadcast receiver 2 is looking for action scan mode changed. Alright, let's give it a run. Okay, first thing we'll do is click Bluetooth on. Okay, it already was on, so I'll turn it on now. So state turning on, state on. So now enable discoverability. There we go. So this will prompt on your device to allow discoverability for 300 seconds. Then I clicked on allow on the device. And we can see our broadcast receiver 2 uh, picks it up once discoverability is enabled. And it lets us know. Oh, actually, this is wrong too. This, is, this should be disabled. That is when discoverability is disabled but you're still able to receive connections from paired devices, I believe. So that's, all, that's it for this tutorial. In my next tutor Bluetooth tutorial, I'm going to show you how to discover other devices. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.